Well, after a long, long wait, Mr. Leopard has returned. It's been a joke all day today. There have been so many cars, so many people looking for him, and he's been buried down in the crotch there. He's looking at the kill tree. He's hungry. And he's looking at us. Everybody's looking for you, big guy. They're all looking for you. And we have you. And now Leopard has gone back into camo mode. He's got everybody hunting for him. And I think we're the only ones who know where he is. I think there has literally been several hundred cars looking for him here on Road S125. He's been down in this ditch, and this is the first time that he surfaced since 1.30 this afternoon. It's now 5.30 in the evening. We've waited four hours, and everybody's sitting up on the road looking for him or driving by us, and we have him. Well, our kitty's head is back up again. Everybody's sitting up on the road. I guess we should go up there and wave flags and say over here. But everybody's ignoring us. So we'll enjoy the kitty and enjoy the evening. a boy, big sleep. Have you decided to come out? Have you decided to come out and see us? No, just a scratch. Ah, oh, you are just a real pretty boy. You really want to go to work on that warthog, don't you? But you've got everybody gardening. Well, you're going to sit there until everybody has to leave. Pretty boy. That's the best look at you yet. Well, you're just going to get comfortable and watch the funny business. Are you going for it, big boy? Huh? Are you going for it? You going to go to the tree? Well, we're going to see. We see you, big guy. I heard an engine start. They're coming down. They must be. Yeah, you see us, but you don't see them. Oh, we got you again. You can't see the popsicle truck. You can just see us. And they can't see you. Leopard in the bush. You're a beautiful cat. But you know that, don't you?
You're gonna do it, big guy. You're gonna go for the for the tree. Are you going up for your warthog? I can't believe you're gonna go there with all those cars parked there. Are you going up the tree? Yes. No, you're gonna get another place to check your kill out. And he wants his kill, but he's not going to go near all those vehicles up there. And he went down again on the north side of the S-125 where we've been sitting. And meanwhile, his kill is in the tree. He can't get to it. The vehicles are all guarding it. He wants to go. And he can't get near it. He's looking at the cars. Car scent can't see him too well because the bush behind him is obscuring their view from up on the road. We're down on the west side of the road with a pretty clear shot of him. Well, I think we have a standoff here. We have about 40 minutes to get back to Satara, and it is a solid 30 minute drive. So we're going to have to leave here in just a few minutes. And I think the kitty is going to outlast anybody that wants to get back to Satara by 6.30. But it's been a long day. But it's worth it for leopard number 20. And there he's up. He keeps edging up, trying to get closer to his kill, saying, people, get out of here, let me have my dinner. You have been a challenge, number 20. And he's stalking his prey. That's his kill up in the tree, and he's just down the hill from all the other vehicles. Are you gonna go for it, big boy? Up the tree? Ah, oh, he got spooked there. And back down the hill he went. And Kitty, this may be the shot that we have to settle with for the evening. He got spooked and came down the hill when he looked like he might just be getting his courage up to go after the warthog in the tree. There he's going out and we're gonna have to say good night Kitty. You are definitely worth waiting for. Well, you just stay. No he's question. He's going to try to make another run at it, so just stay now. We got our picture.